So Cloud Opus 4.1 and GPT-5 is finally out. It got me thinking about my personal workflow of using AI in my day-to-day -day design. This video isn't sponsored and there are actual practical use cases in my workflow. When I start every meeting, I have granola running in the background and it automatically takes meeting notes, sorts your meeting notes by action points. It's much more discreet than having a meeting note taker bot in your meeting room. Next thing I use is ChatGPT. At this point, I think everyone has tried ChatGPT. I use ChatGPT to basically decipher a client brief. Clients usually come to you with a brief that might not be clear. Ask ChatGPT to summarize what the client has just said, propose to me what's missing in that brief, or maybe suggest whatever features that make sense to be included in the product. If I have a long group chat and I need to catch up with the group chat quickly, I'll basically just copy and paste the entire group chat content into ChatGPT and ask it to summarize what happened or the things that I should take action on as a designer. Recently, I've taken on a few projects that require some domain expertise like trading. Thanks to ChatGPT, I basically used it to understand what I need to know and it helped me accelerate my knowledge on a subject matter really quickly. The next tool I use is called CleanShot X. So in CleanShot X, you can capture screenshots, screen recordings, but there's also one little thing, which is to capture text. Instead of having to manually type it out, I can just use CleanShot X to capture text. Besides that, I usually use ChatGPT as a design critic. I usually screenshot my designs, paste it in ChatGPT, or I'll outline the user flow step by step. And I'll tell it to critique my user flow and identify if there are any gaps in my user flow. Another way is using ChatGPT to suggest copy. If I'm designing an empty state for a trading app, I want it to have some trading puns or make it sound more personalized and more human. ChatGPT is a great tool for that. You can basically use this tool called Super Whisper to turn your voice into text really quickly. I will just use a shortcut key like this. It will basically start recording whatever I'm saying. Like, hey ChatGPT, can you generate a dummy text for this table? When you're talking, you are able to think and engage your brain in a different way rather than just typing it out. I find that it's much faster this way and it's much more practical. And here's where I draw the line. I refuse to let AI design for me. Honestly, I still don't like the idea of generating designs using AI tools. They spit out really boring layouts and they all look the same. I try not to use UI kits. I still build design systems manually. I still wireframe things before bringing it into Figma. Take a look at these designs, right? Like these designs think out of the box. They play with textures. They push boundaries. And when you generate designs with AI, it lacks soul. In the age where AI is taking over everything and probably don't know what's real anymore, I hope that the designs that we create at least feel human and has soul. And then comes rapid prototyping. And there are tools like Figma Make, Bolt, Claude Code, Cursor, and a lot of them have been popping up lately. I have tried a few of them, these are the ones that I actually use currently in my workflow. The first one is Figma Make. Import your designs from Figma into Figma Make. So I can basically whip up a prototype in like five minutes and help us decide on what UX to go with. Okay, so sometimes you want to animate something, but you couldn't find a code library for it, or you actually want the animation to behave in a certain way. I just basically tell Bolt to make a 2D card spinning endlessly, slowly, horizontally. It was a very bad prompt, by the way asking it to give the card some lighting reflection when it rotates. After a few trial and errors, it got it to work the way I wanted it to be. If you don't have this, engineers will be wondering how exactly do you want the animation to be? How fast? What direction does the lighting come from? Like, how does it spin? And for things that I require full control, I basically use Claude Code. Claude Code is basically this AI coding agent that exists in your terminal. So I use Claude Code with cursor as the interface until the better AI tool comes out, right? If you have a Claude subscription, it's really good for visualizing how data should look like, especially when you're the designer for like things like dashboards, infographics, or anything like that. Currently, my image generation pipeline is made of four tools. The first one is actually ChatGPT. You can ask ChatGPT to generate images, icons. There's this trend where people show it a reference of Airbnb style icons, and you just provide it like a list of specs on how you want the lighting to be, how you want the material, the textures to be like, from what angle. 
put these icons into Figma and then use the existing background remover tool to remove the background. And I find that this background remover tool is much more useful than Photoshop's. And the next tool I use is called FreePick, where you can grab your icons and images and even videos. They're all royalty free. It takes a little bit of trial and error here and there, but in general, you save a lot of time. So the last tool I use is actually Adobe Photoshop. I'll give it a reference photo, tell Adobe Photoshop to generate designs, follow that style. So you're not replacing your design process with AI, but rather you're leveraging AI to make your design process faster, more high quality, and more efficient. At the start of every project, one challenge that I always find is to set the visual direction and align with your client or your stakeholders. So watch this video next if you're interested in learning how to do that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in that video. Bye.